Welcome, once again, to The Basement Reef. As always, I'm Anthony, and if this is your first time tuning into our channel, we're a retail aquatic pet store and houseplant shop located in Columbia, Missouri, and this is our YouTube channel, where we spotlight whatever is new and interesting happening around our store. This is going to be the first in a new series of videos for us called Fragging Quick Hits. The point of this series of videos is to deliver a quick, snappy video to you guys in a timely manner, focusing on how we propagate corals here around the store. No on-camera intro and outro each time, just one species of coral each time, and how we frag it. Today, we're going to be focusing on these beautiful Acan or Micromusa Lord Howensis that we purchased from Sea Dwelling Creatures. Micromusa Lord Howensis are a great beginner stony coral, both for keeping and for propagating. And this one here has some fantastic color morphs, ones that you don't see terribly often, especially the green with the pink stripes. The only thing that you really need in this equation is a diamond band saw, but once you have that, again, it's a great stony coral to get practice with. The reason for that is twofold. First of all, it's a nice hardy coral. It's not prone to infection after being ran through the bandsaw like some other stony corals can be. But the other thing is that they have nice big fleshy polyps that you can clearly see the distinctions between each polyp, which gives you a nice line to trace with the bandsaw. As long as you don't cut straight through the middle of these polyps, frags will recover incredibly quickly, sometimes in just a matter of days. Now, let's go to the bandsaw and show you exactly how I cut them up. I'm going to start with the most common color morph, that being the bright orange ones. They're beautiful, but it takes a little bit to get warmed up with the bandsaw each time, at least for me, and I end up being able to make finer cuts as I go, so I'll save the rarer ones for last. I want them to be done very well. Next up are the pinstriped ones. With each of these frags, again, we're trying very carefully to go in between each of the polyps, not cutting through the middle of each head. and. I'm aiming for about two to three polyps on each of these frags. If you're unfamiliar with the diamond bandsaw, it's actually a pretty neat piece of technology. This diamond crusted blade cuts easily through things like rock and coral skeletons, but doesn't cut flesh at all, so you can get in close for intricate cuts without having to worry about it. Additionally, there's a reservoir that pumps salt water over the blade as you cut. This cools the coral down as you go and also washes away any debris. And this one here is specifically meant for corals, meaning that most of the moving parts are plastic, so they don't get corroded from all the salt water as you use it over the years. Here we have just a few more cuts on this last coral, the green and pink, and then we're ready to glue them down on some frag plugs. My favorite tool for this job is always gel style super glue. Simply put a tiny dab on each frag plug, push each coral down firmly, and you're all done. Now, it's time to move them back into the tank where they started. You can see that they're fairly angry. The tissue's all tucked in tight, they're not that colorful, but in a matter of hours, they're gonna open right back up, and in about a week, they should be healed up and ready to sell. And here, we can see that that is indeed the case. Just a couple hours later, these corals are starting to open up and look pretty good. My cuts aren't perfect, but it definitely did the job. Anyways, that's about all I have for this video today, and I'm looking forward to getting some more of these made for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to our channel. That's the biggest thing anyone can do to help us grow right now.